The next stop on our healing quest takes us to Australia, where the search for new sources of wellness has become a lifelong journey for one practitioner. The sun-baked terrain of the Australian bush can look forbidding to the untrained eye, but hidden among its spiked leaves and gnarled branches are delicate blooms that have the power to treat the maladies of modern times. There's a long tradition of herbal medicine in my family. I'm the sixth generation Australian herbalist. Ian White roams the Karingai National Park on the outskirts of Sydney. He's been granted a rare government permit to gather flowers from which he extracts healing essences. My grandmother and great-grandmother were the first white people to seriously study the medicinal properties of Australian plants. So as a boy, I spent a lot of time in the bush learning the healing properties from them. Australia's Aborigines have long used flowers for medicinal purposes. But now Ian has developed 64 healing remedies and made them available to the world. They are known as Australian bush flower essences. We have a number of hospitals working with the essences, whether it's the woman essence for, for women going into labour or organological problems. Um, for example, it's used as an alternative to hormone replacement therapy in hospitals in Brazil and Switzerland. Ian spends six months a year travelling to give seminars to the doctors and pharmacists who prescribe the essences for their patients. The peach flower tea tree starts off as pink and as it gets older the flower changes to white and that changeability is the keynote for this remedy. Now we use it for the pancreas because it regulates blood sugar levels too low which is hypoglycemia or too much which is diabetes and we've had people come off uh, insulin for their treating the diabetes within a month of taking this remedy. Bush flower essences are also being used for childhood dysfunctions. For example, White says bush fuchsia has been very effective in treating attention deficit disorder. An incredibly high percentage of American boys from 10 to 16, over 10 percent, are taking Ritalin for ADD. This remedy is far more effective and doesn't have any of the side effects. Flower essences have also helped relieve chronic staph infections. Joy Kimberly suffered for nine years until a colleague heard about an essence called Red Grevillea. So we made up the Red Grevillea and I took it seven drops morning and seven drops night and also bathed it. And two or three weeks after that, I had no sign of golden staph. Ian White says the bush flower essences are now being exported to more than 30 countries. But he is by no means done. He returns frequently to the bush country to continue searching for even more ways of using these ancient blooms as a new source of healing for the 21st century.